Alrighty, everyone, welcome back into Market Science here on the PulseNetwork.com. I am Tyler Pop, and time to go into the expert segment. So, you know, Alan, I got to ask you, what exactly are we going to be covering, talking about today during the expert so segment? So, we're going to talk about web nodes and the semantic web and CMS and how that relates to SEO. So, we thought we would bring in an expert in this area. Exactly, of in course, our expert the, segment. the way it works. So, of course, we, we have to bring in the expert himself right now. So, we welcome in by way of Skype uh, from Web no WebNodes. Welcome in Frederick Holso. Frederick, well, welcome in. How are you today? Uh, thank you very much, and thank me. Thank you for letting me join the, the Pulse Network. Oh, well, without a question. So, tell me a little bit about WebNodes. Well, WebNodes, uh, it's a small uh, software development company based in Norway, uh, and uh, we have developed a semantic uh, content management system and um, we are uh, uh, very enthusiastic about the, the involvement of uh, the semantic web and uh, trying to make uh, and help to make semantic web technology become a mainstream technology also for smaller and mid-sized companies. What's the play for the semantic web in terms of retailers and personalization? Isn't it all about that really creating um, more relevant, more interesting, more localized content, or is it more than that? So maybe t talk us, take us down the path about how semantic web relates to our larger discussion about getting to know our customers better. Okay. Uh, well, first of all, just starting with uh, telling what is the semantic web about. Uh, I think that's important for the for the audience. I mean, semantic web, in very short, is about giving a content a more meaningful information or, or a semantic information, if you want. That is like uh, machine readable information, so machines and now especially search engines can understand and act upon uh, that information. Uh, this is very important now in terms of search uh, because the search engines has for a long time struggled with uh, the amount of data which is now available on the web. I think there is like 500 exabytes of data available on the web and of course it's difficult to to search and, and to give relevant search results uh, based on that uh, amount of data. So the search engine, even though they are competitors, have agreed on a, a common schema, what they call schema.org. So they have agreed on a, a, a common uh, format in order to uh, prove their search uh, services. Uh, and we as a company, we uh, our customers can uh, enrich or provide the search engine with semantic content so the search engines can then uh, give better search results uh, uh, for their users. Are there particular examples that the audience might look look at? Um, you know, customers of web nodes that you say, "Hey, here's an e-commerce merchant that really does this well." And you'll see if you search for them on Google, they're going to show up top of the fold, first few placements. Is there is there a customer or two that you'd like to highlight that our that our uh, viewers can go and take a look at and see how this might be done? I mean, th th there are several, uh, uh, and they're all the largest uh, in uh, enterprises in this industry. I mean, Amazon is 100% is, uh, semantic and, and also Best Buys. Uh, they actually reported that when they uh, changed from uh, or to semantic uh, uh, content, their, their traffic uh, rise with 30% overnight. Wow. So oh. those are two great examples. I mean, and also you can see if you just uh, type dress into your uh, Google search, you will probably have like a billion different search results for dress. And if you click on the category called shopping, you're down to 300,000 uh, hits. Uh, and if you then start to select colors or size or, or whatever, uh, uh, since the, yeah, you can <laughs> show this live, it's better. If you go to your left, there's a category called shopping. Uh, a little bit higher up. So now Google understands that this is in the context of a product, it's a dress. And then you can choose different uh, color options. Like if you go a little bit further down, uh, you see there is a red, so you can choose red dresses. Uh, and you could, uh, you could choose uh, a, a price segment, like uh, uh, the middle one or something like that. Uh, and you could also I do a, uh, the last uh, change, you can choose the, the size or, or, or the type of dress is a little bit further down. If it's for a wife, it's probably a mini. So that's the option down to the left there. And now you see it down to uh, a handful uh, of different options and not a billion, just by uh, doing a couple of clicks. And, and the technology behind this is semantic. So uh, if you're offering a dress, uh, you really need to consider to have semantic information. So, so you will actually show up on, on that Google listing. If you're not, you're not going to show up. 